All right, Gamer Speaks, of course, got some new news. My voice stuttered out there for a second. My, my, my tongue stuttered out for a second. But yeah, of course, we're back. Of course, some more VJump news. We got some new stuff up here. I'm excited. I'm ready to go over. Of course, you guys know how I am. I'm going to go over really fast. I go about really fast, of course. But yeah, I'm ready, though. I'm excited, though, of course. And we got a whole bunch of brand new news. Of course, they get to do a good air. Do, uh, Dragon Ball, um, DBZ Hype, of course. Thank you to uh, all the sources, all the leaks and stuff like that, of course. You guys know I'm always happy to do a VJump video every single month. I'm covering all my VJump stuff. Um, I'm ready though, of course. Of course, we got some new Sparking Zero stuff as always, because every month pretty much it's going to be a new trailer. What's well, confirmed about on the 11th of May, so a little late to that myself, honestly, though. But yeah, it was kind of confirmed anyway, though. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started, though, of course. Um, but of course, all the new images that we got, of course, for um, VJ. But of course, this one's more July of 2024, but I just like, I was like, I'll post it anyway, because it's new VJ stuff anyway. And I can post everything for VJ because you know, I usually do like heroes. We haven't seen any hero stuff in a bit, though. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, though, of course. So, um, yeah, let's just jump right in. Like I said, they get a token air, of course, they get a hype, um, for all the tradition, they think, of course, um, but yeah, of course, uh, this is, you know, one of the scans, of course, um, you know, for July of 2024, so, um, you know, just the main cover, though, of course, like that, um, I'm gonna talk about that really quick, because that has, um, Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, my, you guys know I love Yu-Gi-Oh, go ahead, new Karibo, of course, we got a new Obelisk right there, uh, Polymerization looks a little bit different, looks beautiful and awesome, Sonic Duck is a new, getting a new card, you guys end up for, um, a video of exclusive cards, these probably just video of exclusive cards, uh, some more Dragon Ball Super Card Game stuff, Zeno, we got, uh, Broly, we, we got, um, it's like Bunny or Carrot from, like, One Piece, um, but yeah, of course, just a little stuff like that, of course, oh, um, well, the Hollow Live, um, Girls, I forgot her name. I love her. I love her. I love, she's probably one of my favorites. I love her design so much. That was about L. I watched someone's gonna be in the comments, be like, oh, hyper, you don't know VTubers. It's like, guys, I'm my friends with VTubers. I know she was a VTuber, though. Oh, this guy's kind of cool. I like that. I like that. <laughs> that's really nice. And of course, Beast Gohan, of course, is featured from the manga because I think beliefs. I think that's. It was. Okay, it was right here, of course. Yeah, Gohan, of course, being the cover by Toyotaro. It's a Dragon Ball Super manga, Break Continues. Of course, this month, um. Interventional uh, special, you know, image because you know, we're hearing special images, you know, like, oh, yeah, no, so taking a break. Um, the Toy Taro by um, Beast by Toy Taro, which looks beautiful, honestly. Um, again, are we, um, people are gonna probably already put that in full color and PNGs like share around the internet. That's gonna be on like some new layouts. I got some new Beast layouts I wanted to make for um, my um, Doka Shoot for um, for the weekend, everything, of course. So, um, but of course, let me go back to Legends because this is very, very um, simple right here. So, let me go to um, here. No, no, no. It's on here somewhere. I just had it for Legends. Give me one second. Well, look, I couldn't find it though, but I mean, it's, it's Legends. It's typical. So, of course, we got a new Legends Limited, of course, Nappa. Um, and then, of course, the brand new own card. And, of course, then we got Sulta to Vegeta. Um, he's a brand new unit. Like I said, it's a full unit. It's pretty much LR Vegeta and Nappa from Doka, pretty much. And I really, actually really do like it though. So, yeah, again, some good animation, some good sprite work. Uh, some good, you know, 3M all work and everything, of course. Um, but yeah, again, it's very much similar to Vegeta and Nappa from, um, Doken, like, it's really almost ripped out of there, because they do kind of, you know, they copy from each other a lot, so it makes sense. I was like, okay, it's actually kind of cool! So I actually do like that, though, of course, I actually really like that. Um, then, of course, for, um, Doken right here on their side, because guy Brandon Ultimate God, he just came out for Gold Bowl a few days ago, and JP, of course, for Golden Week for Part 2. Uh, this is SSR art right here, of course, which looks clean, him coming in on the scene, of course, when he's fighting, um, Super Boo, deflecting his attack, and, of course, LR is the poster art, or manga art from, like, you know, um, the manga. Of course, you know, we got Goku's, then, of course, we got these three, which is really good. Piccolo's more of a what-if, though, because he was never in there, so I'm glad Gohan Gotenks. Like I said, we could get an LR with Gotenks doing this as well, though, because, you know, we got Ultimate Gohan, which, you know, he was one of the LR, um, I think he was one of the featured LR, um, yeah, LRs on the LR, um, voting list, which people have been doing that for years. So, yeah, we actually got finally the full on LR. We got two Ultimate Gohans, actually, from the Superhero, which came out first, which is kind of weird. Then, of course, we got this guy. I mean, in general, though, because, you know, we got that one first, and we got this one, and we didn't know which one was honestly going to be Ultimate, though. But, I mean, they're both Ultimate, so it doesn't matter. And then, of course, we got Super Boo Gang, a physical kid Boo Gang, a really old Doken unit. I still love the card art, though. Um, him, pretty much, I'm getting a super easy A. Pretty much the second easy A's in the game. Um, they get easy A once, and they get easy A again. And again, with, so far, we've seen with Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Gotenks, they have been amazing so far. So this guy can be a passive support unit. He can be offensive unit, a defensive unit. They can go, again, for these super easy A's. I love what they're doing. Just go all out, make them disgusting, make them broken. Again, they're going to last a long time. Because uh, that Super Saiyan 3 Goku is pretty much on par with STR. Super Saiyan 3 Goku from, like, the you know, Hurricane movie, they're pretty much on par with each other. But I think that STR Goku is a little bit better. But it's like, it's like I'm saying, Super Saiyan 3 Goku can still work out some more stuff. And that's honestly really, really awesome, though. So, I guess it'd be really, really good overall. So, um, yeah. 
I really like that though, of course. So like I said, he's getting a super easy A. And like I did say on my stream, I feel like he was a good B feature for V Jump first. Then, you know, for global they did release for global side again, they released their because again, for, for the sync they're gonna do as, as well, but I do want to talk about this right here. Just said uh, since I got the time. I feel like he was really meant, originally meant for V Jump, but then Global, because the celebration info I believe came out first. Because what I've seen, the celebration info came out first for part two. Boo was in there, but then they took him out. So I feel like I said, I feel I think he was supposed to be V jump first. Definitely yes, because it definitely felt like that. He was supposed to be V jump like right here. Then you know yesterday he got his announcement, and then of course like I said he got it. like I said it was V jump first. Then yesterday he got his announcement in Doking like in the news. So I, I assume it's like that he was featured for V jump, and I think it would have been awesome though. But they spoiled it. I guess like I said, I feel like they didn't. I feel like. They wanted to because again they know we do V jump like for, they know that we do the V jump videos. My V jump videos have gone have gotten honestly crazy. You guys have been probably some of my best videos on my channel because I just only got 500 views and the one before that I think got like 400 300 and I'm like holy crap you guys are awesome. But um yeah but like, I love doing these anyway. This is one of my favorite things to doing for my channel um because there's so much news and so much stuff even if it's old or new I still love doing it anyway. I think I get one V jump this year. I might have deleted it by I think I deleted that by accident on my files. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, it was, yeah, because like I said, like, same thing goes for part one, like, we had, like, for Golden Week for Global, anyway, if you play Doken or not, uh, part one, we had, we had the JP stuff first, we got all the JP info, then when Globals came out, we got, like, Tech Super Boo and, like, Physical Fat Boo Prime Battle, which, like I said, I think that was a for part two, um, then, of course, you know, Ultimate Gohan came out, and stuff like that, I was like, Gohan, Gohan came out, of course, you know, for part two for the LR, and then, of course, you know, for this Tech EZA counterpart. But then, like I said, here for Global, we got um, you know, we got the Global news first. We got Boo in the um, celebration info for Global. He got taken out. Then, of course, he came up for JP. We got nothing as well. I didn't check. Um, but yeah, like I said, I feel like he was intended for V Jump, and I'm glad this. I mean, they still kind of did it though. He came up for V Jump, you know, and that's on Global for celebration info, V Jump, and then um, of course um, sorry, I had a burp. Then of course um, you know um. Um, um, V jump. Then of course, like I said, in the game news, so, so they kind of did it. And of course, like I said, we're getting a brand new red zone stage with him though, so it's actually really cool because we just got to go on. So yeah, that's good. The Majibu red zone, like I said, they're doing really good with that though. So we could get a part three, you know, EX part. This could be probably the EX part, or you know, they just add to the celebration for, for part two. Again, we don't know yet though. But yeah, then of course, uh, right here, of course, for breakers, look like they're getting Gogeta now. And of course, Vegeta Blue probably thinks being fusions. Uh, but yeah, also Gogeta. I was like, holy crap, the heck of Gogeta, Super Gogeta actually. For the um, Janepa movie, of course. Um, of course, we got Vegito Blue. We got because the new um, Avatar animation. Of course, the new outfits and everything. Of course, look all awesome and all beautiful for Breakers. Um, but yeah, it's actually really cool. Some OG Dragon Ball stuff, some you know Z stuff, of course. You know, typical uh, more OG Dragon Ball though, because yeah, he does do this too. OG Dragon Ball looks like some new emotes and stuff like that. Of course, looks good. Looks beautiful, honestly though. So far, I'm really happy about that though. And then, of course, right here for um, Sparking Zero, of course, we got some brand new characters, the one that you guys have been waiting for. We got Kid, Base Form Trunks, of course, Super Saiyan Trunks, we got Base Form Goten, Super Saiyan Goten, of course, we got Base Form Kale and Khalifa, of course, you know, we got Super Saiyan 2, Kale confirmed, of course, we got Super Saiyan 2, Khalifa, you know, and probably Super Saiyan counterpart as well. Um, the Again, we got Kefla, and we got Goten, like I said, the next, this is pretty much the next trailer, I think it's Generational Saiyans, which would make sense, you know, the prodigies, pretty much, they are prodigies. So, you know, it's Trunks, base from Trunks, base from Goten, Super Saiyan Goten, Super Saiyan Trunks, base from Kale, base from Khalifa, Super Saiyan, you know, Khalifa, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa, uh, Kale, Super Saiyan, you know, 2 Zorka formed Kale. And of course, the game is going to be uh, 5v5, so you can use 5 characters, so that's going to be really good, so like I said. And then, of course, like I said, we got Kefla doing her attack against Goku, we got Goten doing his Ghost attack, and you know, he's probably going to go Super Saiyan 3. Um, get more stuff for the roster, of course, and there, we know they're gonna be the transformations are gonna be separate characters. I will confirm because Great Vegeta is a separate character. Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Two, Early Goku, Z Goku, Mid Goku was confirmed as well for the game, so it does make sense. So of course, but um, yeah, like I said, they pretty much did it confirmed on the level of um, May from the Sparking from the Sparking Zero news. Uh, it's not official though from like Banda, but to be honest, so one of the, some content creators made um or content creator or a few. I think it's Token Assets. It might be. I might be wrong. He is like another content creator, pretty much made a um, account for like fucking zero news, and actually has been really helpful, honestly. Um, but yeah, pretty much this is giving the next thing right here. Of course, like I could say Goten, Troops, Khalifa, Kale, Kefla, Gotenks, etc., etc. All the Universe 6 Saiyans, pretty much Universe 6 female Saiyans. Yeah, so Kabo could be like you were at the last second, though. Of course, he is going to be 5v5. Makes sense, like I said. Ultimate Tenkaichi did this. Um, it was the 5v5. Um, 
bridge about two different five v five. So yeah, you can choose with characters, like I said. But this is like the good reveal that too, like you can like bridging boss two, and bridging boss one. As long as you like, for example, if you have Super Saiyan Goten and Super Saiyan Trunks all like, on the same team, you can fuse together, and simply probably goes for Capo if you fuse them together and take up the slots and everything. Though of course, it says if you have um, two specific characters on the team, you can also multiple combine with Patara, like I just said, though pretty much. So of course, and you know the format teams and everything, of course. Um, Yes, yeah, called New Generation Saiyans. It's pretty much all the new Super Saiyans. You know, it's probably Super Saiyan Bark itself. You know, all the Saiyans from Universe 6 and everything, of course. Um, but, um, yeah, though, it's pretty much everything right there, honestly. Um, for now, anyway, though. But, yeah, I think this is the Air, of course, for all the info. Thank you to Dragon Ball Hype for all the info. Of course, I'm really excited for this video. I was so hyped and so crazy. Because all the new images, of course, and stuff like that. Of course, all the new beautiful stuff, of course. But, yeah, we got to go, of course. See you guys there, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great luck. Welcome to Game Them. Enjoy. Stay safe. Watch. And a couple of us all be going out. Point of wearing masks. So, some paper for real. YouTube, if you can, go outside. Just subscribe to the copy of tomorrow for the YouTube channel. Great. Got an awesome wicked thing about all this info, though. Of course, you like it. You hate it. Of course, I love it all. All of it looks beautiful. It's all freaking awesome. But yeah, though, of course, of course, I got these! See you guys later, though, again, though. Peace out.